what's good y'all it's gas and lil shine just dropped losing myself so i'ma teach y'all how to make some beats for lil shine let's go Like I said, Lil Shine just dropped Losing Myself, great EP or album, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to lie, if you haven't listened to it, then I definitely recommend you listen to it, especially if you're a plug-in B warrior, because that shit was just like straight plug-in B, and that's the type of B I'm going to be teaching y'all to make today. So this tutorial is going to be a little bit different. Uh, usually I just go through it step by step and start from square one with y'all, but I got an FLP today. I made this while I wasn't recording and I thought it'd be perfect for this type of video. So I'm gonna just give y'all a real quick breakdown. So let's get into it. So first things first, I went into XB5080, grabbed this SAEP1 and I laid out this little chord progression. So first of all, if y'all struggle at all with making chord progressions, especially for plug and B, I just made a video on how to make plug and B chord progressions and really any chord progression in general. So if you struggle at all with that, then make sure you check that video out after this. That should be in the top right. So as far as this chord progression, you can see I went pretty high up. You can see I, I went up to C8, C sharp eight all the way here. And keep in mind that I pitched the master down 400 cents. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna detune the beat. And I thought it just gave it a really cool sound, made it sound like authentic plug and be like that old Autumn Summers, Lil Shine type shit. But yeah, nothing too crazy. Tiny bit of a top line. And other than that, just some, just some little ninth chords. Uh, nothing crazy at all, like I said. I strummed them out and I did randomize the velocities here, but that is really it. And I did end up layering this progression with two other sounds. So I grabbed this Xenology PWM soft pad one preset. And like I said, I just laid out the same thing, copy and pasted. That sounds like this. And then last layer, I went back into XV5080, grabbed this see-through EP, and that's gonna sound like this. And now onto the other parts of the melody, I grabbed this Christmas time preset out of D50. This is like the classic Goyard bell. And then I just laid out a little bell pattern that was in the scale, obviously, sounds like this. So next sound, I went into Purity, grabbed this YVA preset in the lead synth section. And you can see the pattern's kind of a little bit weird. It's almost like a telephone lead, but I'ma just let it play out. And then next, I went back into Purity, grabbed PW for President. Obviously, you know this sound if you know anything about Purity. So this is like the most generic plug and B sound ever, but I just made on one third grid, by the way, uh, so I could have these like sort of evenly spaced. I made this little, this little like lead pattern. I don't really know how to describe it again, but <laughs> I'm gonna just let it play out. So we back in purity. I grabbed this desolate solo lead. Uh, not really a too common sound out of purity. And I laid out this little lead pattern. Pretty simple, pretty generic. I'll let it play out. So 
So next, I needed some strings, so I went into SRX Orchestra, grabbed this legato violins preset, and laid out the super simple string pattern. Super high pitched, just to go with like the chord progression and the overall theme of the melody, but then I went back into SRX Orchestra and grabbed these Piz strings. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that preset, but these are definitely Piz strings. And then I laid out this little descending pattern. And last sound at the SRX Orchestra, I got this Boo Sook and Harp preset. I have no clue how you pronounce that. It kinda sounds like a bell. So I just laid out this little sort of bell-ish pattern. And the final sound, I went into X-Band, grabbed the classic Les Paul lead, and then I had this little lead slash electric guitar pattern playing out. So I'ma let y'all hear it. <laughs> So that's the whole melody. It's 11 sounds, which I know is a lot, but these little shine melodies usually have a ton going on, hence the 11 sounds. So I'ma let the whole melody, everything together play out. Moving on to the drums, I had the most basic clap pattern of all time, literally just the three and seven clap pattern. I don't even need to go over that. And then I got this little hi-hat. Uh, it's really nothing too crazy, just cutting out some notes for bounce and then adding rolls where I saw fit. Again, randomize the velocities. So I'm gonna let y'all hear this with the clap. And then I had the super repetitive snare pattern just hitting at the end of every bar, I guess. And then I had a chant pattern right here. Again, nothing too crazy. Just putting it in where I saw fit. Uh, moving on, we got this little shaker. Uh, again, super repetitive, just where I saw fit to give the beat a little more bounce. And then I got this rim. This was going a little crazy. It was just like a, a few rolls here and there. Uh, sort of like interchanging with the hi-hat pattern if that makes any sense and then after that I added this like classic old plug in B hi-hat with just like every single step covered and then I randomized the velocities had that really low in the background in terms of volume and then I had had to put it in the plug in B ticker and other than that all there is left is the 808, which was a super heavy 808. Uh, not too crazy of a pattern. Uh, there's a good amount of hits, I'm not gonna lie, but really it was just staying in key and a matter of what sounded good. All the drums together are gonna sound like this. Now, everything together, brace your ears. So to start off, I had sort of like an unsuspecting drop, uh, this little two bar uh, cutout, and then I had everything else come in, but before it's just the plug and beat ticker, this little E piano and then the strings. And then from there, I used this as a little eight bar pre-hook and then went into a 16 bar hook. And then 
It's 24 bar verse, uh, nothing too special here. Just cut out the 808 for the first two. Uh, and then here I cut out all the drums for the first two bars and the last two bars. And then I just copied everything over. As you can see, it's an exact match. So you can see, copied over the pre-hook and then the 16 bar hook right here. And at the start of the 16 bar hook, I had the volume fading out. And that is really all there is to it. So that's the B, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed or you learned something, make sure you hit that like button. I really hope this tutorial helped. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button, man. We're so close to 1K. I've been saying this for like the past three videos because I've just been pumping them bitches out. But make sure to hit that sub button if you haven't already. It helps out the channel a lot. And make sure you comment any tutorials that y'all want to see. I think I'm going to do a Dom Corleo tutorial after this. So y'all be on the lookout for that. But any suggestions y'all got in the comments, make sure you leave those below. As always, it's been Gas, and I'm out. Peace.